Hey everybody, Cynical Manor here. Today we're going to be going over the uh, air-to-air missiles in the uh, MI-24 Hind and uh, talking about how to use those. They're pretty easy to use. So I've turned on my weapons with uh, Petrovich. I'm just waiting for him to uh, give me the okay on that. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, if you go to adjust controls, uh, let's see here. There's a prepare weapons command to gunner, uh, and I've I've got that on a hat switch on my uh, on my cyclic, and uh, I've gone ahead and told him to do that. So we're just waiting. It takes about I think 90 seconds, something like that, for that to come online. I've got some uh, targets set up, some Hueys that we'll be going after here as soon as those weapons are ready. As you can see, we do have the R60s on board, times two on each pylon. And we'll be going after a few Hueys here in a little bit. Just waiting on... He's turning them on, so it's just going to be a few minutes here before he gets them ready. And I'll come back to you when those are ready. Alright, so now that the weapons are ready, uh, there's a couple things that you need to do to enable the missiles to actually work properly. So, if we look down here, we'll take the, the uh, cyclic away there. If you look down here where it says missile off, that's where you need that to be able to have these work. You'll go over to this little A2A missile box here. You're going to power it up, and you're going to select air to air, and then you're going to hit station 1. When that, that'll take a few seconds to come online to power up everything. When you know it's ready, you will have where it says Seeker Operate, that will turn yellow. And I'm just turning in. We've got a few Hueys over here we're going to go after. And I'll turn to that where they might be. See if we can see them visually while we're waiting on that to power up. There they are. And it takes a good few seconds, I don't know exactly how many, to get that to power up. And come online. Okay, it is ready. You see now we have the yellow light saying that it's operational. So what we're going to do is we're going to get over here behind one of these Hueys. take a fire from the ground so let's not do that Ooh, we're getting hit I forgot about putting those <laughs> those live tanks over there all right so let's just circle around here Ooh, we're taking hits get out of here Let's not get shot down before I can show you how to do the video. All right, so we're moving in behind these uh, these Hueys over here. It's just like any air to air missile. You're gonna put the little circle thing on the uh, on the flying thing, and it's gonna go beep, and then you're gonna fire. And I think these are good for about eight miles, five to eight miles, something like that. They're crap missiles, the R60s. 
Um, it usually takes about two of them to take these Hueys down. So that's why I loaded uh, four on the aircraft. All right, we'll go for the guy in the back there. Will we hit him or will we hit somebody else? Who knows? All right, so we're not close enough yet. We're not getting the tone. we got and we're gonna go ahead and fire one off box two and like I said we, we went hit the guy in the front well we got one going down so I guess that makes me a liar saying that it takes two box two again all right so that's two on that pylon so we'll need to switch to the next pylon and we'll have to wait for that to come online. That's the only downside to having these. Only downside. Ooh, and we're gonna go right over them tanks again. No, Billy, no. All right, so we it's ready. Let's give a little, little collective raise up. We'll just Fox 2. And why not? Fox 2 again. Alright, and that's it's as simple as that. So if you got one missile on the pylon, you wouldn't, you know, of course you couldn't fire two off of it. Um, you would have to fire one and then switch to two. Um, and the three and the four, I believe, are going to be for other types of missiles later on. But one and two is what's accurate right now. So once we're we're empty now, there to air, we just turn this off. It's pretty simple. So hopefully that uh, taught you something today, how to use those. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Have a good one.